It looks like he's not doing the greatest right now. Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. This episode is a little different and because of that, I have a disclaimer. This video is for educational and or entertainment purposes only. So as many of you are aware, the Stellar HD Plus or Stellar Xbox HD Plus, as it is called, requires a Stellar mod chip to operate. Uh, thanks to some amazing people in the Xbox scene, there's a workaround. So now you're not forced into having the Stellar mod chip in order to use the Xbox HD Plus. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we jailbreak the Xbox HD Plus chip. That way you don't need the Stellar chip anymore. So I've already taken the liberty of removing quite a bit of the items inside of this Xbox so we can get it open and ready to go for you guys. So there we have it. We have the Stellar chip and of course the Stellar Xbox HD Plus right here. First thing you're gonna wanna do is unplug the Stellar. And I'm gonna just go ahead and skip ahead on all this, unscrewing and desoldering the wires and whatnot. I've removed the Stellar Xbox HD Plus and I've already installed my wires and my chip. So this chip is like $1.25 or something off of AliExpress. If you're fortunate enough, you will have one that has the test points in the back. In addition, obviously, you'll have these three. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in our ST-Link V2 to USB port. We already have our Xbox HD firmware bin selected over here. We're gonna go ahead and connect to our chip. And once you do that, you just go ahead and I like to do program and verify. You do not need to. And there we go. Just start programming it. Uh, credits to Nemesis and Mozville for the creation of the guide on how to wire up the development board to the HD Plus chip. And that's it. Just go ahead and disconnect. Now back to the Xbox. All right, so we have our open Xenium plugged into the console and of course our development board hooked up to the SCL and SDA lines in addition to having it hooked up to the Stellar HD Plus. So let's go ahead and power on the console. And there we have it. The Xenium is right there on the screen. So I don't think we're gonna be needing this anymore. So let's just go ahead and get, so let's go ahead and just take care of that. Actually, we do need to keep the chip just because we're using code that technically should be on this chip. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and send this to your customer if you wanna stay within the legalities, unless of course you're buying Make Megahertz's board that's coming out here pretty soon, which allows you to not use the Stellar anymore. Now there are a couple of reasons why you may wanna do this. One other thing to note with the Open Xenium is if you don't have it patched to a certain firmware version number, you cannot see picture on certain TVs until you update it to the newest version. If there are other features that you'd like to see added to the Stellar chip, you could always leave those in the comments down below. Maybe somebody important will see them. One thing I would like to note is that I have had customers ask to have the HD Plus installed without the Stellar chip. That is definitely something I'll be offering in the future, even though I really recommend you do not, as the Stellar chip makes things very smooth and it's a very very easy to use chip, especially for the operating system. One feature I'd like to see for the Stellar chip is the ability to select from a bunch of different BIOSes in a menu. <laughs> well, that's about all I have for you. Thanks for watching and um, I see you. we have a friend here. I don't have a knife though. Wonder what kind of tool we can use to open this thing up. If you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Where's my knife?